This video shows how to install the S6 to GR1P 1 to 3 KM. Attention! Electrical equipment shall only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the inverter user manual before installation and verify that all the accessories are included in the box. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for proper ventilation for heat dissipation and avoidance of direct sunlight. When the inverter is operating, it generates high temperatures and voltages. Please install the inverter in a secure inaccessible location. Install the back plate. Appropriate space should be reserved around the installation location of the inverter. Determine where to place the inverter. Use screws, spacers, and nuts to secure the back plate to the bracket. The installation is complete. Mount the inverter. Align the inverter with the hooks on the mounting plate and hang it. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the fixing holes. Inverter installation completed. Grounding cable connection. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Solis demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, High voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the inverter, please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. AC side connection. Connect the assembled AC cable to the corresponding port. Communication connection. If you choose a Solis data logger, please connect it to the CARM port at the bottom of the inverter and tighten it. Mount the antenna at the end of the data logger. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up 